go to jail. Well, this is Artifacts of Mars, and Loretta, I love Isis Lynch, uh, is taking the fifth to decline to provide the Congress with any information concerning the $1.7 billion and other payments that were sent to Iran, supposedly in exchange for the hostages. She has taken the fifth. Well, at least we know Democrats like one of the amendments, the Fifth Amendment, as in they use it frequently to hide what they're doing. Attorney General Loretta Lynch has declined to comply with the investigation by leading members of Congress about the Obama administration's secret efforts to send Iran $1.7 billion in cash earlier this year, prompting ac accusations that Lynch's Plead the Fifth Amendment to avoid incriminating herself over these payments, according to lawmakers and communications exclusively obtained by the Washington Free Beacon. Senator Marco Rubio and Representative Mark Pompeo, Republican Kansas, initially presented Lynch in October with serious questions about how cash payment to Iran was approved and delivered, and on October 24th response, Assistant Attorney General Peter Kadzik responded on Lynch's behalf, refusing to answer the questions and informing lawmakers they are barred from publicly disclosing any details about the cash payment, which was bound up in a ransom deal aimed at freeing several American hostages from Iran. The response from the Attorney General's office is unacceptable and provides evidence that Lynch has chosen to essentially flee, plead the fifth and refuse to respond to inquiries regarding her role in providing cash to the world's foremost state sponsor of terrorism, Rubio and Pompeo said, um, Friday follow-off letter to Lynch, bringing a copy obtained by the Free Beacon. The inquiry launched by lawmakers is just one of several concurrent, ongoing congressional probes aimed at unearthing a full accounting of the administration's secret negotiations with Iran. The good luck there. This is another example of criminality. Well, this woman loves ISIS, by the way. I forget what the issue was, but she definitely stayed. She loves ISIS. She's a big fan of them. Which is also a crook. No wonder we can't get any justice in this country when you have a crook for an attorney general. I mean, what do you expect? You have a crook for an attorney general and an FBI director and don't want to do his job. Go Trump. This is unreal, what's happening. This is a criminal government. It's revolting. It's disgusting what's going on. It's infuriating. These are criminals in charge of the United States government. As a United States Chief Law Enforcement Officer, it's outrageous that you would essentially plead, plead the fifth, that you would essentially, they stated, uh, the actions of your department come at a time when Iran continues to hold Americans hostage and unjustly sentence them to prison part of a letter they sent. Unbelievable. I don't know how much our Congress can do. We're probably scared of these people. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Just thanks for watching.